Welcome to, I guess, what would be the sixth episode, I think, maybe, um, of Boy Talk. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm getting such amazing feedback, so based on the feedback, I'm guessing you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, I'm going to go into... But basically, I pop a question, pop two questions on social, my social media Instagram. If you're not following me, make sure you follow me. Um, for everyone to vote, which they wanted to see answered first. So the one that basically won the vote, it got like over, I think, 1,500, 2,000 votes for this one, um, was this one. So we're going to talk about this. Salam Astana. I hope you and Ava are well, inshallah. I'm just going to jump right into it. I'll start from the beginning. You and I have quite a lot in common. I was married quite young. It didn't last, ended in divorce. A few years after that, I married another guy. I have three gorgeous kids by him, a girl and two boys. After five and a half years of marriage, he tragically passed away. Hi guys. This is episode seven. You guys can tell when I film on the same day, innit? Because my outfit and my scarf and my makeup are the same. Okay. 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 So, this is a bad... This is actually a very weird one. But let's go. Should I lose my virginity? I can tell you no from that. <laughs> I'm going to read your email and still tell you no. <laughs> no I'm joking. I'm going to read. Okay. Open mind. Hi Thana, I would like to thank you so much for your boy talk videos. I would like to ask you for the, your opinion on this. I would really appreciate it if you don't share my name or profile photo, if you ever choose to respond to this question. I would like to know your opinion on, the, on this situation. A Muslim young woman who her whole life was very conservative and religion, religious, who was very conservative and religious, she never even shook hands with men, never even hugged never been kissed and never done anything, not even once with a man, even though she's been engaged multiple times. Hats off to you. <laughs> Hats off to you, seriously. <laughs> go you. <laughs> What's wrong with me, bitch? Go you. Go you. <laughs> okay. Um, Though she's been engaged multiple times, she has always wanted to stay pure until she gets married. However, every time she meets a man, she realises that none of the men are virgins and all men have done something one way or the other. And every time she meets a man, she is so heartbroken because they have all touched. They have all touched and been physical with other women. She feels really sad and heartbroken because she doesn't want to feel like she is giving herself to a man who hasn't saved herself himself and she feels that no man deserves to be with a woman who is untouched because none of them are. She wants to get physical with someone and lose her virginity before she gets married because she doesn't want any man to have it and she wants to give it to one guy who she knows loves her more than anything else in the world and who, can, who has literally loved her for over 10 years. She is in her early 30s. The reason why she wants to give it to him is because she believes he is the only one that deserves it out of all men. Even though she does not want to marry him for other reasons which are out of her control. What is your opinion on all of this? This is one of those situations like, me mate Dave. This is, for, this is about me mate Dave, not about me. I'm joking. Okay. I just want to like approach you from a different angle like you are looking at this all wrong you are looking at it like you are saving your virginity for a man and you're not that's not what our virginity is being saved for our virginity our want to be pure is for god don't get it twisted this isn't for a man and i want to give you an example 
imagine you marry a virgin man, okay? You find yourself, I don't know how you're gonna find that. That is literally a needle on a haystack. Good luck with that. Like, unless he's clapped, I don't know where you're gonna find a virgin man, okay? I mean, the fact that women's virgin virginity is more exposed. You can tell if a woman is not a virgin, but you can't really tell if a man is not a virgin unless it tells you, of course. And obviously, techniques and shit, you're like, okay, imagine getting married to someone like, mm, you've done this before. <laughs> so, I think the way that the God created like that, I mean, that's more of an indication as to how much more sacred a a woman, sorry, this is like a piece of fluff, a woman's virginity is, okay? I'm not saying that it's fair or not to come out, forget all of that, okay? It's, we're more sacred. No. Anyway. So, imagine you marry a man, okay? Imagine you marry a man who's a virgin. Somehow, somehow, somewhere, you found him and he's not clapped. And you marry him, okay? And you're both virgins. You saved your virginity for this person and this person saved his virginity for you, okay? Okay. A month later, after the wedding, after he's popped your virginity, popped your cherry, deflowered you, okay? He turns into the ultimate dick ever known to man. He just literally looks like he got a personality transplant. He literally switches. Or oh, forget that, that's not even likely, like that's not even realistic. Let's just say you got pregnant soon after and he decides to leave you and go off with a girlfriend and leave you pregnant. Okay. Would you feel good at that point that you gave your virginity to that person? No. You'd feel what a waste. So it's not about the guy being a virgin. It's about the guy and how he treats you and how he makes you feel and how he respects you as a woman. Your virginity, understand this, your virginity is not for men. Yeah, you've got like old school mentality, backwards cavemen men that are like, eh, I just want to go that's virgin, and I'm not a virgin, whatever, and I fucked around and all of that, but my girl needs to be virgin. And I've never met cavemen like that in front of me. I've seen them literally have sex with good girls. Like it was nothing. Like it was change. Like it was literally, like they're just like, whatever. But their wife? Boy. Boy. Anyway. The point of the story is, you are not saving your virginity for a man. Your virginity that you're saving and that you're preserving, that is you fighting with your nefs even almost. Like you get put in situations where you get attraction, like you get attracted to someone, you have feelings for someone, and you fight that urge to, to have sex with that individual, that that to God is a massive thing. Like that, your jihad that you played because you did that because you didn't do that because it was haram, that to God means everything. So your your thawab is already stored in the bank with God. Like you don't even need to worry about that. That, that all that shit, why would you even go through that shit for a man? If that was for a man, mate, no girl would say virgin, let me tell you that. If we're doing things for men, because men ain't shit. So if we're doing things for men, we're, not, we're doing this for God. We're preserving our virginity for God. I don't know why I'm saying our, because clearly after popping a child out, I'm not virgin, but, but I wait it. This little hojabi, believe it or not, wait it until marriage. I surprise you every day, don't I? <laughs> sorry, sorry, you? Okay. Um, well, it wasn't really marriage, it was in the car, but same thing. But anyway, the point is, is you're looking at this all wrong. This isn't about a man. And I don't even understand. I would, I'm so intrigued to know why you can't marry this guy. That's what I'm really, that's what I really want to know. Why can't you marry this guy? If he's loved you for 10 years and you feel he deserves something as big as your virginity, why can't you marry him? I'm sorry, every other reason after that is just like decoration. Like it's not important if those two things happen. I would like to know. So maybe send me a follow up email because that would be really interesting. Just for interest sake. 
Um, but realistically, the answer, regardless of what's in your email, the answer is still going to be no. I would say the fact that you're, you have this connection with this person, like you should focus on getting that connection with the person that you choose to be your husband. The people that you're, that you're kind of like entertaining or getting to know, clearly no one's really made that connection, you've not really made the connection with any of these people to the point that you're not even thinking about the fact that they're virgin or not. Because believe me, when you fall in love, my man can have a kid with another woman and that isn't gonna put you off. You're gonna hate it, but it's not gonna put you off. So I think wait, like take your time a bit. Clearly you're not getting that connection. Like all these people, it's almost like you wanna get married. So you're just doing the, the necessary steps to get married. You're getting you know, to know the guy and blah, blah, blah. These people that you feel aren't even like, they're not worth you giving your virginity to them just because they've like, they're not virgin. They're not people that you really love or you care about or can grow to love that's not it's not because i would like i put myself in your situation and i'm like for someone i love am i gonna imagine okay i can't really talk because i have a child and another man so any many mouths be like well i wanted your first child to be with me like etc blah, blah blah but like just putting if i was in that situation i would say that I wouldn't really care. In fact, no, I was in that situation. My, Mo, my late husband, had a child from another woman. I had so many problems with him over that whole issue. So many issues arose between us because of that issue. But never once did it make me feel like, no, he doesn't, like, no. Like, you want to give everything. When you find the one, you want to give everything to them. Little logistics, like, he's not a virgin. He slept with a girl, or 10, or 5, or whatever it is, before me. That isn't going to matter to you. And the fact that they're matter mattering to you now, it tells me that you're not really vibing with these people. You just maybe are just following the protocol, necessary step to get to know someone, to get married. Getting married is not about getting married. Unless you just want to get married for the sake of getting married. If you're trying to find your soulmate, this ain't it. Anyway. I hope that's made some sense to you. Um, but yeah, this is a short video. Because there's an obvious like answer, I guess you guys know this obvious, but whatever, Trevor. That's mad. Imagine saving your rigidity for 30 years. Over 30 years. Well, not because I don't care when you're a baby, but imagine saving your virginity for th for over 30 for 30 years and getting all the thawab for that and then just picking up that bag of thawab that you got with God with your Lord and just throwing it to the side because you don't want to give it to the person that you're about to marry you want to give it to this guy that's loved you for 10 years go marry this guy that's loved you for 10 years believe me God for, 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 for your troubles of keeping your virginity for 30 years God's gonna make that work no matter what is standing in your way that you don't want to marry I, I don't even know, I, I just even want to speak on something, I don't, know, I don't even know why you don't want to marry him, so that would be really interesting. I hope it's a legitimate reason, because I can't really think of a legitimate reason why you wouldn't marry someone. As per my last video, someone wants to do something, they're going to do it. Okay, okay. Anyway, so... point of the story is, is what, that's it, that's the end of this video, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, send me questions to the email below, and yeah, that's it, 10 post notifications on the door, thank you, thank you, bye. Hey.